13 after 9 o'clock. Uh, welcome back. Well, let's uh, focus now on health and science issues and menopause is what we're talking about today. Women will experience menopause when they pass a certain age. A lot could change during this period, such as your overall mood, sleep and even weight gain. Let's discuss the finer points now with Dr. Nicole Jaff. She's a menopause practitioner from Wits University. She spent a lot of time researching this. Dr. Jaff, a very good morning and thanks so much for your time. Many of us think we know what menopause is. We think we're going to know what we're going we're going to go through based on what our mothers and our grandmothers have been through. But lay the groundwork for us. What is menopause simply? Well, simply menopause is the last day of your last period ever. And I want to thank you for having me on, Yuveka, because I think a lot of women are very um, bewildered about what menopause means and there are a lot of stories going around. So if a woman can remember that menopause is actually the last day of your last period ever, <clears throat> so after that, you never have another period. And we assume that a woman is menopausal when she hasn't had a period for 12 months. So no period at all during that time. If she's moving into menopause during that time, she can have a period after a couple of months, maybe two months, maybe even after six months. But menopause is when you haven't menstruated for 12 months in a row. Well, I, I can hear many women going out there going, hallelujah. I mean, thankfully, we know no more tampons, no more shopping for these things. We can swim when we want to and go on holiday when we want to. But menopause comes with its own set of complications and discomfort, doesn't it? It absolutely does. And especially during the time that you're transitioning into menopause, when you when your hormones in your body start to fluctuate. So you get all this causes all sorts of unpleasant symptoms, specifically hot flushes and night sweats. And hot flushes are the defining symptom of menopause. And then there are a whole other range of symptoms and concerns that women have during this time. Take us through some of those, though, just for, for those who, who might be worrying or might think at this point that they are moving into the phase. Well, there are two things to remember. The first thing is that most women become menopausal or start transitioning into menopause during their late 40s and probably become menopausal in their early 50s. But there's a wide range of times when you can become menopausal. So what's very important to understand is that you mustn't mistake the body temperature disturbances or the hot flushes um, that for menopause where they might be caused by something else like an illness, like a thyroid dysfunction. Mm. So first of all, it's important to understand Am I going into menopause? Yes, I'm of a certain age. Yes, my periods have been irregular, um, uneven. I've had different flows and so on. And I'm starting to have these body temperature disturbances, which then morph, as it were, into hot flushes. And for many women, night sweats. When they wake up in the middle of the night, absolutely drenched in mm. sweat, can't go back to sleep. And during the day, woman may be sitting in a meeting or going somewhere and they suddenly feel this flush rising up uh, all over them. They break into a sweat. And the reason is that because of the hormones in your body that are fluctuating and going up and down, a part of your brain thinks that your body is actually cold when it's at normal temperature. So it puts in all the mechanisms to make you feel uh, warm again, and this creates a hot flush. And hot flushes, as I said, are the defining symptom mm -hmm. of menopause. And I think can be very unpleasant for many women. And at least 70% of women undergo heart flushes or experience them. So what are the treatments that are available? Does everybody necessarily need a treatment, uh, Doc? Because we hear about hormone replacement therapy. We hear about all kinds of other things that, that, uh, you know, that, that are available to us. Do we necessarily need them? Who would need that kind of treatment? Well, the first thing is you're going to have to see if these hot flashes are impacting on your quality of life, what's happening to your sleep. Then the, the best, the first line treatment, if it's not contraindicated, so if there's no reason for you not to take it, is to take hormone therapy or what we call menopausal hormone therapy. There are lots of different treatments out on the market, but what I would advise women to do is talk to their healthcare practitioners. Don't just buy something off the shelf because it says it's going to to alleviate it. Often it does. Often it doesn't alleviate something. And it's best if you're going to take a medication that has been passed by a medical controls council. So we don't want to be taking things which are called bioidentical hormones, which have not been passed by medical regulators. There are those hormones that are similar to a woman's uh, 
own hormones and those that have been regulated, but others one should be very careful of. So not every woman needs it, but if these hot flashes are so distressing and debilitating, yes, why not take treatment if it's not contraindicated? And, you know, one of the things we hear uh, is people having hysterectomies. Is a hysterectomy an answer to this, or is that just one of many misconceptions? No, a hysterectomy is... Uh, the removal of your womb. And there's absolutely no need to remove that womb unless there's a reason for it. If, if there's a good medical reason, you've discussed it with your doctor and with your surgeon, by all means, you have to have a hysterectomy. But otherwise, there's absolutely no reason to have a hysterectomy for a woman who's going through a natural menopause. All right. And, and very quickly, before I let you go, male menopause, is it a myth? Does it really exist? Or is it just a midlife crisis and they use it as an excuse? <laughs> Well, firstly, I guess it's called the andropause, and it's when levels of testosterone drop, and then they get depressed and low levels of energy and low muscle mass. But so it's not a menopause, but it's an andropause when there's a drop in the level of testosterone. But what I do want to say to your listeners, and I don't think I've said it enough, menopause is a natural process of aging. Most women get through it. It can take the, the time you transition into menopause can take between two to 14 years, sometimes longer if you've had a you've been plunged into menopause or had a surgical or chemical menopause. But for most women, it's a natural process. You can deal with it. You speak to your healthcare practitioner, watch your lifestyle, look at exercising, eating properly, regulating those changes that keep you healthy. And if necessary, take hormone therapy on the recommendation of your doctor because it can alleviate those symptoms and make you feel a lot better. Oh, fantastic, Dr. Nicole Jaff. Thank you very much. That's Menopause 101. We've got uh, the basis for it. We will continue our discussion. We'll talk alternative therapies. We'll help you understand what's happening with your hormones as well. And some of the suggestions from Dr. Jaff about diet and exercise, we'll delve into that as well. That's on the way.